All right, guys, welcome back to Home on the Hitch. Glad to have you here. I'm Thomas. And I'm Melissa. That's right. So today, we're going to talk about the probably the number one concern uh, that new RVers, prospective RVers, uh, have with the RV lifestyle. And what's that going to be? Is it going to be towing? Uh, is it going to be hooking up? Is it going to be backing up? There's so many questions, but the number one concern that new RVers have is the black tank. Where does the poop go? So we always get, do you poop in your RV? Do you use your bathroom? Oh, we don't poop in our RV. We don't use the bathroom. We don't use the toilet. Uh, nope, not the bathroom. Everybody go outside. I'm serious. There's a bathroom across the street. Why would you not use the toilet? That's why do, one, you, why do you have a bathroom if right. you're not gonna use it? That's the number one, one of the number one conveniences of your RV. So saddle up you porcelain pony riders. <laughs> <laughs> Saddle up, you porcelain princess. So pull up a seat, you RV potty podiatrist. No. <laughs> potty podiatrist. <laughs> so pull up a throne, you RV potty phobic RVer, you. And let's talk about the poop. Guys, we do want to take a quick second and thank uh, this video sponsor, and that's going to be Rec Pro. They're not paying us to do this video, but they did supply us with a piece of equipment for this video, and you're going to see that in a little bit. So thank you, Rec Pro. If you haven't checked out their website, go over there and check it out. They've got just about everything that you could think about that you might need for your RV. RecPro.com. All right, so we're going to talk all things RV black tank, sewer, and toilet today. So if you're just starting out, there's nothing to be afraid of. Everybody goes poopy. Go away! It's coming out of me like lava! That's what Bear in the Big Blue House said. That's right. So everybody poops, and the reason you spend all this money for your RV is to have a nice place to do it on the side of the road, on the side of the interstate, uh, in the national forest, wherever. In the and, middle of nowhere. Yeah, nice, comfortable place to go potty. It's no big deal. So we're going to talk about it. So your RV, if you don't know, the plumbing system operates really uh, similar to what you have in your sticks and bricks, uh, especially when you're hooked up uh, to hookups at a campground. So you have holding tanks in your RV. You have a freshwater holding tank, most likely. Uh, you have a gray water holding tank, which gray water is defined sinks and showers, uh, things like that. And then you have the dreaded black tank, and the black tank gets the contents of the uh, toilet. So you may have more than one bathroom, uh, so you'll probably have more than one black tank if that's the case, but you may only have one. So where the differences lie between your house and your RV is in your house, the toilet drains through a pipe either into your septic system or to the public sewer system, and you don't ever have to think about it anymore. There's a built-in P-trap into the toilet that keeps water in it, that keeps any types of smells or stanky stuff, uh, odors coming from um, the sewer system back into your house. So in your RV, the liquids and solids that go into the toilet fall directly into the black tank, and usually it is directly straight into the black tank, uh, where they are stored till the tank is full or till you dump it, uh, and then it exits out the sewer connection. Now, one important tip is, when you're hooked up, a full hookup at a campground, it's okay to keep your gray tanks open. Then you, your plumbing system will run just like you are at home. You take showers, your tanks will never fill up. Your plumbing fixtures, sinks, showers in your RV have P-traps as well, so you won't get any stink or smell uh, back into the RV. Do not ever leave your black tank leave open. Leave your black tank open. Because what happens is the liquids will all drain out just like if you leave your gray tanks open. So all the liquids will drain out of the black tank and leave all the solids, which will dry out and become hard as a rock and cause a horrible poop pyramid and somebody's gonna have to deal with that. So, so what's gonna differ between RVs is the size and like I said, the number of black tanks. If you have multiple bathrooms, uh, you probably will have multiple black tanks to empty. Uh, and some RVs have smaller black tanks and some RVs have larger black tanks. What that will determine is how long you can uh, go before dumping your tank or how long you can boondock somewhere 
uh, before having to go to a donor station to empty your black tank. That will also vary by the number of people that you have in uh, your RV. And how much you poo. Or how much you consume. Yep, how much food you eat. <laughs> So properly maintaining your RV black tank is uh, one of the simplest and easiest things that you can do to ensure that you have a pleasurable RV experience. So how do we maintain uh, the RV black tank? Well, uh, number one, you wanna make sure you dump the uh, tank on a regular basis. Christmas. Uh, when you do the, the tank, you always want to use the black tank flush feature if you have it. Most modern RVs are going to be equipped with a black tank flush. What that is, is a, a sprayer inside the tank. It's a separate hookup outside by your water station. It sprays the inside of the tank, fills up fresh water in there, and then you let that drain out. If yours does not happen to have one, uh, there are other options. You can, once you dump the black tank, you can simply fill it up with water from the toilet. Uh, and dump it out again. Or you can actually add um, a black tank flush valve to it. They sell a kit um, that allows you to add a, bl a black tank flush sprayer to your black tank. So that is a good option as well. So once you've dumped your black tank and flushed everything out, what do you do? What do you do? Well, so you always want to put back wa some water, some fresh water, into the bottom of your black tank uh, a few gallons. Fresh water, 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 water is your best friend. But I call high quality eight tool. Oh! And when you're talking about your black tank, you had about three or four gallons of fresh water and whatever toilet chemicals you are going to choose to use. There are, there are so droves many. of uh, different chemicals to use. As far as what we used to use, we used to use uh, the standard blue stuff. No, I think uh, the Thetford over the Camco uh -huh. um, was probably better, but there are other options available. There are other options available. The most important thing is to make sure you have plenty of water. You don't want to just have solids in the black tank because if you do, you will not be able to drain. We recently installed a new product uh, we are not affiliated with. We purchased it. I installed it on the suggestion of a friend and subscriber, thanks Dean. Um, and it is the Blue Streak Automatic Toilet Chemical Dispenser. We're going to put a link up, or a little picture of that up right here, and a link in the description below. Uh, something that we've been using for a little while now, and I can honestly say... Oh my gosh, we love it. Yeah, it's uh, basically, it's, it's so simple. The installation is literally five minutes. It's a small tank that holds a, a, their own chemical that has a very light uh, powder scent, very pleasant, and it hooks into the plumbing of the toilet. And every time you flush, it dispenses a little bit into the toilet bowl. It kind of foams and keeps the toilet clean. It smells great. I'm very sensitive to, to fragrance, mm -hmm. and this is not off-putting at all. And I like having blue toilet water. Oh, it's great. All right. It's wartime. Anybody that's been RVing for a little while, bring it on, bring the comment. It doesn't really matter what kind of toilet paper you use. It does not matter. This question, if you're new, is more polarizing than modern day politics. <laughs> there is a thing called RV specific toilet paper that companies like Scott's and, and Camco and Thetford, you'll see those brands in, in the stores, um, spend a lot of money I charge a little extra for it. They say it dissolves better in your black tank, uh, and that may be true. And you see some people on YouTube with this toilet paper and that toilet paper, and they put it in jars of water and they shake it around and to see how it dissolves. The bottom line is as long as you keep a good ratio of water in your black tank, you're not going to have an issue. If you're using modern chemicals and a good ratio of water in your black tank, you're not going to have a problem with it draining. And here's the other thing to consider is that it's not sitting in your black tank as long as it is sitting in your septic tank at home. Right. So it doesn't really have, a, what, a maximum of like seven to eight right. days. So now I wouldn't like go get the 42 ply Charmin quilted extra thick baby blanket you know, no, but septic safe, but toilet septic paper. safe and just the normal, normal, we use normal toilet paper in our RV and we've never had a problem. When you flush your toilet, flush it with a half a bowl of water and 
you won't have a problem. And everybody says, well, your bike tank will fill up quicker. That's just part of the animal. You have to have the water with the solid. Uh, if you don't, you're going to end up in the situation we talked about earlier. Now, if you are phobic about the amount of toilet paper that is going into your black tank, you can always pop it in the trash can. Yep. So with that said, my recommendation to you, or our recommendation to you, is going to be to do your own research and choose the one that works for you. But a word to the wise, do not. Do not. Do not use baby wipes. You can use baby wipes, put them in the trash can. Don't ever put those in your RV black tank because they will latch on to the valve. To anything it possibly mm. can and won't let go. And won't let go. And they're not good for the septic system uh, either. They're not, even if they say septic safe and they, they're not gonna dissolve. Wipe your butt with a wipe, <laughs> but don't put the wipe in the black tank. How do you know, Melissa, when it's time to empty the black tank? Well, most people would go by their sensors okay. that are located in their little control panel. So, yep, in the control panel, you're gonna get these little sensors and I'll show you ours right here. So these are our standard sensors right here. Uh, I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. That's the black tank. It says it's full. Uh, I can guarantee you it's not full because I just dumped it last night. They're gonna be right one time. And that's going to be when your RV is brand new and it's had nothing ever inside uh, the black tank. Basically, these are pins that kind of go through the black tank and measure conductivity based on whether there's air or, or fluid in there. Problem is, things get stuck to those pins and it alters the electrical current and it will measure full when it is dead empty. So there are some external tank sensors uh, that are very nice, uh, and I know a few people that have used them. They work kind of like a little sonar. You stick them to the outside of the tank, uh, and from what I understand, they are incredibly accurate. A simple way that you can tell if your RV uh, black tank is full is if you know anything about household plumbing, you know you have vents uh, that exit the roof of your house. Well, you have vents that exit the roof of your RV as well that allow you to flush. Um, when you flush the toilet, the liquid goes down, but there has to be air behind it to allow everything to work properly. Uh, same as in your house, same as in your RV. That vent pipe that goes into the black tank is, is connected to your black tank. When your tank fills up and covers up that vent pipe, there's nowhere for the air to go but the from or come from, from except for the bathroom. So when you flush the toilet, you get a big bloop, bloop bubble that comes up it makes a distinct sound. That's because it's trying to pull air uh, to use for the flush from the bathroom. Uh, and when you start to hear that, it's time to- It's time to, time to flush if the you, If you were to hold your toilet open, look in there, you would see that it's about to come to the top. Next up, toilets. What kind of toilets go in RVs? Uh, well, most modern RVs that you buy in the United States are going to have a foot flush toilet so in your sticks and bricks house, you use the handle on the toilet, which flushes the toilet, the water goes down, the fresh water runs into the bowl and to, into the P-trap that is built into the toilet, and that keeps all the smells out uh, of your house. The water trap does. RV toilets are not like that. They are a foot flush with a straight pipe, and what they have is a ball valve uh, in the bottom that has a rubber seal. And that rubber seal is the only thing that keeps the smells uh, from your tank or anything that's in your tank coming back into the bathroom. So you always wanna make sure that you maintain that rubber seal. Now there's products out there on the market that do this. The best way to do that is just to make sure after you flush the toilet, there is water right. in the tank. And you wanna make sure, or water in the toilet bowl. And if you have water in the toilet bowl and the seal is in good condition, then that is your P-trap. Now, if you put water in there and it drains out, it's time to replace that seal. And it is very easy to do, it's very simple to do, but if you're not, or you don't feel like you're able to do it, then you can have a RV technician come out and do it very, very cost effectively. Uh, it's not an expensive part. So that's also something to consider when you store your RV. You wanna make sure that you have enough water in the toilet mm -hmm. to last the duration of the storage. Yep. All right, so this is our uh, standard Thetford RV foot flush toilet. 
uh, and it's foot flush because it adds a lever there just like that to flush. Now you can see back there is the Blue Street container. So if you watch really quick, you can see the ball valve opening and closing. Yep. And that is what keeps the smells out. Perfect. So you want to make sure you keep that uh, in working order, keep the fluid in the toilet. The good thing about this Blue Street chemical is it has a lubricant in it uh, that is supposed to help maintain that seal. So next up would be uh, in some camper vans you might find like a cassette toilet. Uh, cassette toilet is exactly that. It uses a cassette that kind of looks like this. Usually inserts from the outside uh, through a, a trap door to an opening baggage door that goes underneath the toilet. It locks in. They're usually like five or six gallons, so it doesn't hold a whole lot. And then when it's full, you have to manually pull it out and walk it over to the dump station and empty it out. There's no way to hook up a cassette toilet uh, to a sewer drain at the, at the campground. So. Right, I think um, like like the Travato or like I don't know, like some of the uh... some of the Class B camper vans in the United States use them, uh, but they're not as widespread here as they are in the UK. Some people opt to pull out their toilet and put in a composting toilet, uh, which a composting toilet has two compartments. Uh, the liquids go into one compartment that you have to take out and empty when it's full, uh, and the solids go into a composting compartment that usually has some type of organic material, peat moss or some type of bark or something like that, that you, that dries it out and it composts and stirs it around. And then when and you dispose, I, of, you it dispose of it in a trash bag, uh, pretty much anywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the business end of the black tank. So you're gonna have at least one uh, sewer outlet on your RV. Uh, depending on how big your RV is, you may have two. Uh, we only have one. We have two gray tanks, one black tank, and one freshwater tank. So we, you can see the gray tank pull is over here for the galley tank, and the bathroom, or the shower gray tank, is right here. That one missing the handle is our black tank because that broke off and I haven't replaced it, but that is the black tank pull. Now you can see that we are hooked up to full hookups at a campground uh, and we have our gray tanks open. We keep the black tank closed until we're ready to dump it like we said earlier because we don't want to lose the liquids in the tank and just have solids. So when it comes time to dump the RV black tank, people handle that one of two ways, either the night before um, they will close the gray tanks and let the shower water build up into the tanks. That way, what they can do is close those off, come out the next morning, dump the black tank, and all the sewer stuff will come through, close it off, and then open the gray tanks and flush that sewer hose with that gray water from the sink and the shower and all that kind of stuff. That's how you achieve a good flush of your sewer line if you don't have a black tank flush. We have a black tank flush and that nozzle is right here. That's where we hook a separate hose and that goes to the sprayer that's on the inside of our black tank. So we dump our black tank, we close our gray tanks, pull the black tank dump, everything rushes out. And then I hook a hose to that and fill it back up with fresh water, dump it again, and that flush allows us to flush out the sewer system. Do yourself a favor and get clear elbows. Yeah, yeah, I know it's gross. It's poop, get over it. But it does help you know when the job is done. That's right. Either a clear elbow here or a clear elbow there on the sewer connection. By having a clear elbow, it can also help you identify when you have a blockage or something yeah. with a problem with your tanks. Get a clear elbow and get over it. Or get a stick out of the yard. That's right. So another option that you have for dumping your black tank is going to be what's known as a macerator pump. Now, this is the piece of equipment that Rec Pro sent to us uh, for this video and for us to evaluate. So thanks guys, we appreciate it. This is a quick release macerator pump. So basically this is a big poo blender uh, for your RV. It allows you to dump your black tanks without a standard sewer connection. There are a lot of options uh, with a macerator pump. This has a bayonet uh, fitting on the end of it. And real quick, I wanna clarify a bayonet fitting what that is, is one end kind of looks like this, and one end is gonna have little knobs on it like this. 
this is what the end or the end of your sewer connection is going to look like coming out of your RV. It's going to have a cap on it, just like it'll be the end of the pipe and a cap. And that is the end of your, uh, you know, sewer drain that is fixed to your RV. This is the primary connection uh, that you're going to find in the RV industry uh, for sewer connections. Now, there are some other uh, over cam, uh, cam lock connections that Lippert makes. Uh, for their sewer hose and it's a very secure and very good uh, connection this is the prime this is what's going to come on your rv um, so you're going to have bayonet fittings uh, your standard hose is going to have bayonet connections on that side as well as on that side just like this macerator pump so the way these connections go together this is the same way that you affix a sewer hose uh, to your sewer outlet on your rv is the connections go together and this one is really tight fitting on there which i do like but just like this you push the two together and twist to lock it's just a twist lock connection twist to unlock twist to lock so what that allows you to do is with your macerator pump hooked to your rv uh, you can either dump your gray or your black tanks when you don't have a standard connection if you just have a portable tank to take to the dump station. Maybe you don't want to tow that behind your vehicle. You can set it up in the back of your truck, hook this uh, to your sewer outlet, and through a hose, through a one inch or a three quarter inch hose, you can pump either the black tank or the gray tank into your portable tank. For us at home, we have a septic tank clean out that is about a, uh, 50 yards away. So we can hook this to our uh, RV sewer outlet and run this hose from the RV all the way to that sewer, or, or excuse me, our septic clean out and dump our tanks at home just like that, no problem. So there are different model macerator pumps. Like I said, this is a quick connect pump that goes uh, on your bayonet connection. Uh, they have some that you can build into your sewer drain. And a lot of RVs, class A's especially, come with macerator pump systems built in if you need them you can divert the waste into the macerator and pump it long distances these things will pump hundreds of feet and up several feet you know five ten feet very handy thank you rec pro we're going to get a big uh, use out of this i know in the future in our alaska trip coming up uh, this one is 12 volt it hooks to a 12 volt source uh, and has a switch uh, with the wire that's included uh, you can get 110 volt uh, or 12 volt so Make sure you check out Rec Pro for the right pump for you. Bonus tip time. This valve did not come on our RV. Uh, you'll have a, like a bayonet connection on here that these caps and fittings fit onto. Probably won't have this on your RV when it comes. We added that as a last kind of line of defense over anything leaking. These cable valves sometimes don't close all the way. So say we close everything and we drive down the road. Uh, without this valve on here, I was opening the cap and you might get like a cup and a half of surprise from one of the tanks. Uh, and it's sometimes it's not so pleasant. So with this on here, that doesn't happen. All right, so take these tips and start pooping in your RV bathroom. It's one of the best conveniences that you could ever, ever have. And you paid a lot of money for your RV, so don't not use the bathroom. But most of all, you want to like and subscribe to our, our channel. Absolutely, because we got all kinds of great pooping tips, and you'll miss them if you're not subscribed. So, uh, And that will be your own fault. You poopers. Where, where does a bear poop? Not in my RV bathroom. Sign up for our email list there. Uh, if you do that, we don't, we're not going to spam you. Well, we're doing weekly uh, blog posts that come out. And the one that came out this week is all about RV black tanks. We have some literature for download under RV education at our website that also talks about all the holding tanks uh, in your RV. So make sure you go there and check that out, as well as download our beginner guide uh, to RV living, which is amazing. So give us a thumbs up, leave us a great comment. Like I said, doesn't matter what kind of toilet paper you use. All right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Go to the website. Do all that stuff. Uh, leave us a comment. If I didn't say that, I think I did. Visit us at the Hoot Nanny in Savannah, October 13th through the 16th. It's going to be one Hoot Nanny of a time.
like we always say at the end of the videos, until next time, guys, take care of each other. Love each other. Make every moment count. We'll see you next time, guys. I got to poop. <laughs>